Welcome to AM Junkies Tech Support. I'm Militia, and we're going to learn some data execution prevention today. Okay, the first thing we want to do is we want to go to Start, right-click Computer, go to Properties. We want to go to System Protection, then Advanced, and then we want to go under the Performance Settings to Settings, then Data Execution Prevention. Now, I will say this. If you've never used this before, everything will be blacked out. It will be gray. This will be gray. That will be gray. You won't be able to do anything. You have to. It will be on set on this one as well at the top one. You want to set it on the second one, and you want to make sure um, after you apply all these settings, you click Apply and click OK. It's going to ask you to restart your computer. Please do so. <clears throat> then you're going to come back to the exact same point um, as the video started at. You know, which is back to uh, start, right click, uh, go to properties, select advanced, uh, you know, etc., and then click settings, and then click data execution prevention. Now you're going to have it where it's like mine, where you can actually add something to it. Okay, so now what we're going to do, the first thing we're going to add is the loader. Now, the loader I have is on my desktop. It's in a folder, like I've asked uh, everybody to do. Put your hacks in a folder for the configuration files and the loader, so, you know, everything works nicely together. So, click on your AJ folder, or whatever name is your folder is, sorry, and then uh, click on the name of your loader, which is minus my hacks, and then click open. Okay, now that's set in the DEP, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to click add again, and then we're going to go to, uh, my, you know, wherever uh, the disk drive, if it's local C, and you're on Windows 64, it's, pro it's probably going to be in program files, x86, and if you're on 32-bit, of course, you don't need x86, you just have normal program files. So I'm going to go program files, x86, and then electronic arts, and then bad filled bad company too, and then... <clears throat> this is very important. This needs to be kept the same name, the original executable name, bfbc2game.exe, which I have exe extensions turned off, so I don't have to see them. So um, make sure it's named that. A lot of people like to go in and rename them for some reason. So, you know, anyways, and then click open. So now you have both of them in the DEP. Now click apply and click OK. And then click OK again, and then whatever. So now when you go into my, you know, your loader, log in. And, and just so everybody knows, you know, when you log into our loader, you don't have to click inject or wait for anything. It automatically does everything itself. All you have to do is start your game. As long as it can read the executable, it knows exactly what it's doing, and it does everything all by itself. And uh, that's an awesome feature put in by Sequence. Thank you very much for that. And uh, okay, so now we have. Uh, sorry about the loud music. Uh, I have the music actually turned off, but uh, okay, there we go. Sorry about that. All right, so now we got our radar, of course, and then we have our menu. And now we can go ahead and we can use our product, and there's no problem. Now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and exit the game and close this out. Now, <clears throat> if you do all this and you still have an issue and you still cannot to get the game to work, please contact the tech support mod or myself anytime, um, and, and we can help you. There's no problems. Um, if um, that does not work, the best thing for you to do is go back into uh, just just it's easier on you because you're going to have to restart your computer again no matter what so if you do it before a tech mod comes on it's just easier so he doesn't have to log off team viewer and then come back on etc so just go back to data execution prevention and then system protection and then advanced and then settings and then data execution prevention now what you're gonna do is click remove click on here click remove click on here click remove and then you're gonna click on here and you're gonna apply your settings and click OK you're gonna have to restart your computer so now when the tech mod comes on your computer, say, hey, I tried data execution prevention. I put it in the DEP. I removed it from the DEP. I restarted, and now I'm back to square one. And then they can go on from there and, and, and you know, grab level two tech support um, if, if they need it. And uh, if not, they can, they can uh, always, you know, th our tech mods are really good, so they can pretty much fix anything. So, uh, <clears throat> yep, this is data execution prevention for uh, new staff or staff that want to brush up on it or, uh, you know, people that um, never have seen it before. Uh, they can get a view of it. Uh, I'm Militia. Later on.